Hello guys, how are you doing? So in the last video we created this Laravel basic app. In this video we're just going to um, stop the server. If you want to stop the server, you press Ctrl C on your keyboard. So I'm trying to increase the font size. Go Ctrl C. It stops. Then we run PHP Artisan make auth enter. So once you click on this. Authentication scaffolding generated successfully. Then we can run our PHP artisan serve to see uh, what happened. So this command just creates the full user registration login system for us. So we don't have to worry about that. I'll refresh. And good. We're cool. We're cool. So there we have it. Um, login and register has been added. So let's quickly check out what happened in our database. Um, if we go to one go to php my admin it is opening localhost slash php my admin on my server because i'm using one if you're using zamp you need to go to localhost then click on php my admin menu so i have to log in if you just installed your one or zamp then your password should be empty hit enter So the first thing you notice is that nothing happened in our database because we've not connected our Laravel app to our database. So this thing wouldn't work. If you try to sign up or sign in, it won't work. So we have to get back to our Laravel app, click on EMV, and then uh, you have to specify the database here. So the database we're going to have is referrer. That's what we're going to name our database. You can name yours anything. Our password is roots and it's our username is roots, but our password is empty. So I click save. Once I've saved this, I have to copy this name and come and create a database with it. Go to uh, PHP my admin, click on databases, paste con containing sorry uh, database name here, refer. This doesn't sound like. See, we've been making mistake. That spelling is actually double R. Double R. So let me just confirm. Define refer. It's good we corrected it early. I'm trying to confirm the spelling, guys. Referrer. A misspelling of referrer, which somehow made it into the HTTP standard. A given web page referrer. Sick. So um, somehow some developers in the in the past kind of mistakenly uh, named it referrer with one R. And then it became a HTTP standard. <laughs> this life is funny. <laughs> uh, a misspelling of referrer. This life is very funny. So referrer with on R made it into HTTP standard. Hmm, nice discovery. Okay, so um, we have to choose the one to use. I'll try and use the correct one. Referrer with double R. Funny. Create. So we've created the referrer database. That means we have to come back here and fix double R yeah save now the next thing we're gonna do is um, we're gonna run that that PHP artisan serve again sorry uh, that um, make auth PHP artisan make auth hit enter yes it's gonna tell you that this already exists you say yes that's why 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 so it has finished the scaffolding let's go to a database and see if anything happened so nothing happened but it has actually recreated all those things now what we need to do is to run the migration if you go to database here go to migrations you see that there are two files here these are the two tables it wants to create in your database if we come here we will see that it has name email password these are the fields it wants to create in your database all right so we go there and do php artisan migrate so of course there's this usual error that uh, I used to show up in every Laravel installation if you're using MySQL so I'm gonna pause this video here in the next video we'll, we'll sort this out by going to the app folder all right 